Hi guys, it's DJ here from CozyRC and this is my mini mono in the workshop. I just took out this 50 amp speed controller, ZTW Shark 50 amps. Um, the reason I took it out is when I am running larger props, like this 36 millimeter 1.9 pitch prop, the speed controller was power cutting and I think, yeah, it's due to the low capacity of 50 amps. This speed controller works perfectly fine if you run smaller props like 32 millimeter prop with this Rocket 2948 kV motor. But if you want to go for real high speeds and you want to use bigger props, then I recommend to use a bigger speed controller, for example this 60 amp. So we're going to install this speed controller in the mini mono and then we're going to take it out to the pond and see what the performance will be. So just for a quick comparison, the size difference is pretty big and also the weight difference. If I weigh this 50 amp speed controller, it's 52 grams. Now we're going for this 60 amp speed controller. And it is 76 grams. Furthermore, this 50 amp speed controller can take 2 to 4 S LiPo, and this 60 amp speed controller can take 2 to 6 S LiPo. Alright, we're at the pond. This will be the first run with the upgraded speed controller 60 amp ZTW instead of the 50 amp, which was here by default. I also slightly up trimmed the stinger, so it has a slight up angle now. Let's see how it will go. The GPS is at 3 km an hour. So let's put it in. Down, so looks beautiful on the pond. Wow, this runs awesome. I don't really. Ooh. I was going to say, I don't really notice the up trim, the up trim on the stinger, but... It was also just a very slight up trim. Man, it runs awesome. Last time with this 36 1.9 pitch prop, and uh, the 50 amp speed controller, it cut out. So let's see how it will hold up now. Oh! Oh! Wow, so lucky. It's the third flip that <laughs> I landed. Seems there's something in the water in the middle of the pond, so man, I just love this hobby. The bolt seems to hold up now. Full throttle laps. Yeah, I think 
the light bulb was uh, drained. Let's take it in. It was just an awesome run. I really enjoyed this one. Let's check the speed and temperatures. My guess for the speed is 70. Oh wow, I saw some smoke. Where is smoke coming from? It doesn't feel hot actually. How about the speed? 68 again. Exactly the same as last time with this setup. So the slight up trim on the Stinger didn't uh, increase the speed. How about the temperatures? Yeah, the LiPo is kind of hot. Wow, 54 degrees. Oh, the LiPo is actually too hot. Motor. Motor is 37, 38. How about in the front? 38. All right. And how about the speed control? Speed control 33, 34, 39, 40. Capacitors are cool. Okay. So yeah, I really pushed the setup, and this prop is a lot of prop for this little boat. 36 mm 1.9 pitch, but overall it ran great. Let's uh, switch up the LiPo, and I will put the three blade prop, and then let's go for a speed record. I switched up the prop for the 36 mm three blade TFL prop, 1.4 pitch. Put a new LiPo in. GPS is at 3 km an hour, so let's tape it up and see if we can get a speed record on 3S. This 36mm 3 blade is a lot of prop for this boat. So let's directly go for a speed run. There we go. Nice. is crazy. Wow. And it does have some torque roll. end of the pond. Wow, awesome. Let's do one more lap, then take it in. Let's check the speed. Seventy-six, nice. It's a new record. Previous record with this setup was seventy-five, so we gained one kilometer an hour. Nice. Lipo, lipo is not hot. Wow, nice. Motor, forty, thirty-nine. All right. Speed controller. Oh, speed controller is not hot at all. Nice. To wrap up these two runs, the speed control upgrade is definitely an improvement. This 60 amp didn't cut out, and the boat ran great. The 36 
1.9 pitch two blades prop is actually too much for this boat. The LiPo got really hot, but this three blades prop seems to take it pretty well. And it gives the highest speed and great acceleration. So it was a good result today. Alright, that's it. I hope to see you next time. Bye!